Good evening. So tonight we're talking on the temptation of status. And I think the sermon is from Mark 10, 32-45. So we got some power tonight. We're on the pastor's Facebook. He's out of town for uh, his daughter, Allison, is moving in to her first house. That's exciting. Congrats, Allison. Um, so yeah, status. Uh, very interesting, I think, when you talk about our life, our, our lifespan. Seems like status starts early on, right? The sermon we kind of talked about at the playground, right? The picking teams, and then it just doesn't stop as you get older, right? It's um, money or career or whatever. It's just different things as you get older, right? Status. Um, and I think this, the hunger and desire for status is in all of us, right? A, a desire to be recognized and known. Um, and then something I was thinking of a little bit today is um, I think the church used to be you would have status by attending church. It was societally popular, and I think now it's not. You, you know, to be Christian does not really benefit you. Um, so how that has changed um, in our world. Um, I think the reality is if we're really following Jesus, um, it will be uncomfortable, and it will look different than the world, and um, we'll be aiming and shooting for things that are different. That other people maybe do not value. Um, and I think the reality is are we looking for a glory from man or are we looking for glory from God? Um, certainly I'm guilty of that at times, a lot of times. Um, but what are we what are we pursuing? Who is um, credit are we are we serving? Uh, and I think it's interesting that one example of I always think of that as like a CEO of a company, and this is stereotyping, so it's not always the case, but you know, if you have your identity wrapped up in one thing, you know, the CEO, as an example, retires, doesn't have a job. We hear stories about just life crumbling because that was your identity. So what what do you do now? So as Christians, obviously we want our identity to be wrapped up in Christ. Um, and I think it's an interesting pastor used the term a little bit during his sermon of uh, Christian ranking, almost a, co a comparison game of, um, you know, this person is sinning in this way, so I think I'm better than that person. And the reality is we're, we're just all sinful, uh, broken people. Um, but I think that's kind of the law, right, that we, we fall short. But I think the gospel is uh, our status that we find in Christ that uh, we are children of God, chosen, uh, royal priesthood, um, co labor in Christ, uh, we're forgiven and loved. So uh, we'll break up in small groups now and just talk through this 